Dr. Devaney here. So I recently sent you out a video on um, dough and why it's so good to do sensory play and why it's so good to work your hands. But this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a three ingredient Play-Doh at home, just in case any of you don't have any Play-Doh at home. So the three ingredients we need are cornstarch, flour, and conditioner. So we tested it out, my son and I tested it out, and it comes out great and it saves. We've had this for like four or five days now, um, but it comes out nice and soft and squishy, and it smells so good. We're using dollar store conditioner, so if you don't wanna use expensive conditioner that you have at home, you can go get some from the dollar store. Um, but this is soft and squishy and it works perfectly. And the nice thing is since it's cornstarch and flour, um, it's not gonna stain or get stuck in like material like clothing with a waistline does. So it's equal parts. One part flour, one part cornstarch, one part conditioner. So let's see. This is our cornstarch. It's nice and soft and silky. And then we need one part flour. Drop that in there. And one part our smooth, silky conditioner. And then you have to mix, 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 mix. So, um, if it doesn't quite feel right, of course you can always add a little bit more. If you have a homemade recipe that you like to make, you should send it to me. We can test that out too. I put mine in a tray so that I don't make a big mess. You could do the same thing at home with your kiddos. Put it in a little tray. This is just a little dollar store, the lid to those baking trays. So this takes a while to mix, mix, mix all together. My son likes to say agitate, 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 mix, mix, mix. Ooh, it's feeling really sticky. So mine is coming out sticky. I don't know if it's because my conditioner is softer than before. So I am actually gonna cheat. So we did one part of each item. See how it's still sticking to my hand a little? It's still a little sticky. I'm gonna add a little more dry ingredient. Now, of course, that's what you might have to do sometimes so you don't have such a mess. And then in class, if you made this, I'm gonna have you bring it to class and show it to us and then we can play a game together using our dough. I'm gonna put some more flour on there. It needs more flour. There we go. Now it's not sticking to my hands as much. Perfect. Okay. So here's the fun part. If you want to do a little extra with your dough, your Play-Doh, and you don't want just plain Play-Doh, you can add essential oils to make it smell good. Or what I like to do is add color, and this will be fun. We can add two colors together and see if we can make purple. So we're gonna do blue, and we're gonna do red. And we're gonna try to make purple out of our blue and red. So I put it in a plastic baggie so I don't have to get it all over my hands and I'm gonna squish it in the bag. Cause this red food coloring stains. So I like to keep it in the bag. Once it's all mixed together, it won't stain. Not the same. So there's our red. Let's add our blue. I'm only gonna do a little at a time cause blue is so much darker than red. We added our blue. 
Let's see if we can get purple. And mix it right there in the bag. Oh, there we go. It's starting to mix. You can see a little bit of the blue. You can see a little bit of the red. And you can see a little bit of the purple. I'm gonna keep mixing. a little too wet. We gotta get it. There we go. Now that it's soaked up all the color, I don't have to worry about my hands turning purple. What do you think? We got blue, we got red, and we got purple. It's almost mixed up. It's almost mixed. It's so squishy and soft and it smells so good like the conditioner. We have a nice, oh, because the dough is white, it's a light purple. A nice light purple. Should we add more color to it? I kind of like it this light, light, light purple. It's almost lavender purple. Okay, well show me what you did at home and send it to me. Share it with me in class. I'll see you later, thank you.